All right, you got something going on in your life you want to share with us. We turn around, we share it with Birch Show fam. In this case, he is just through with his husband, complaining about how he feels, going to the hospital all the time, and he's wondering, is he being an a-hole for telling his husband, like, you know what? No more trips to the hospital. You're on your, if you're sick, you're on your own. Uh, hit us up at thebirchshow.com. This is the email. Uh, my husband and I have been married for a little over a year now. He is the greatest thing that has ever happened. I mean, I'm so excited for our future. However, he's a major hypochondriac. Every minor thing that he feels, he automatically thinks he is dying. If he gets a cold, he's probably dying and we need to go to the hospital. He is constantly checking his pulse and thinking he's having a heart attack. We've been to the hospital way more than I can count. Just in the past two months, there have been four hospital visits. The fifth one almost being tonight. This is when I finally put my foot down. I've been trying to work to our credit so we can look at buying a house. All of his hospital bills automatically go into the trash, which I later fish out and have put in my lockbox of important documents. It is already hurting his credit, as some accounts have already gone into collections. Also, hospital trips are expensive, he says. Am I the a-hole for telling him we will not, not be making any more hospital trips unless there is a broken bone or a whole bunch of blood? <laughs> I even had a minor heart attack last month and didn't go to the hospital. Okay, let me repeat that. What? I even had a minor heart attack last month and didn't go to the hospital. Why? Yeah, that's not, okay. Those are two different things. <laughs> that's a whole nother extreme. Oh, we have something else that we have to tackle here. Yeah. Um, he writes, I brushed it off and made a doctor appointment, not really thinking anything of it. That is how I was raised. Is it wrong for me to tell him that the hospital is not a free-for-all? Thanks in advance. Who else is dealing with this right now? one 855 Bircha. Okay, so I feel like his husband needs to talk to a therapist. Like, there's definitely something going on there as far as him... Um, it doesn't even sound like potentially being a hypochondriac, actually being a hypochondriac. And he needs to do something because like, I feel like he's living his life in fear and that's no way to live your life. And now for him, you had a minor heart attack. So now mm. you're going from one extreme to the next to try to prove a point, I feel like, and that could be detrimental to your health. <laughs> so if you have a minor heart attack or think you have a minor heart attack, you need to go to the hospital. Don't not go to the hospital to prove a point to your husband that he's going to the hospital too much. You also need to get on the same page when it comes to these bills because, yeah, hospitals, they will hit you up until they get that money. And it yep. will go to collections and it will ruin your credit. So if your husband is going to go to the hospital constantly, he has to be responsible for his hospital bills. Like there is mm -hmm. so much to cover here. <laughs> uh, I'm a little bit the same way as he is here in that I just, I mean, I got to see a bone. I got to see blood. It's got to be really bad. Hollis got bit by a, uh, stung by a, uh, a bee the other day. Runs in to my room at like 10 o'clock. I got bit by a, I got stung by a bee. I got stung by a bee. I'm like, Yeah. He's like, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> I'm like, go put some ice on it, dude. You yeah. good? That's it? That's all, right? Now, Tiffany was different. She makes him like an oat bath and puts him in there, makes sure that everything's good. But I'm like, it's a, it's a beast thing, man. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Did it start to swell? Yeah, maybe if one side of his head a was a little, little bit of alcohol yeah. on it, you'd be yeah. fine. Yeah. Ain't no big deal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, what, what is a minor heart attack? Like, I feel like mm. any form of a heart attack should be taken, like, as a major thing. But I do think they just need to find a way to meet in the middle. Yes. And I, I would I would talk to them, and I, I would try to do it with grace, because you never really know what somebody else is going through or what's on their mind. But I do think some therapy would help. But, yeah, we definitely got to get them hospital bills down. Now, my fiance is the same way. Uh, I told you guys a couple of weeks ago she was having, like, these little minor seizure-type things. And she didn't want to go to the doctor. She's like, oh, you know what? I looked it up online. Everybody's entitled to a seizure. <laughs> no, no, man, not uh -uh. everybody's entitled to a seizure. Uh, and she wasn't going to make a doctor's appointment. But then it happened again, and she mm -hmm. had, like, some lightheadedness for a couple of days in a row. And she's like, yeah, yeah, I think now's a good time. But it takes that kind of extreme yeah. for her to go get it checked out. Uh, good morning, Jocelyn. You're on the Bird Show. Hey, good morning. I love you guys. Listen to you every morning. I sure appreciate it. What's going on? All right. Well, I heard about the hypochondriac. I just wanted to say that it sounds like something very similar that I go through. Um, it sounds like some pretty severe anxiety. Mm -hmm. It does. And which is why I'm like, he needs to talk to a therapist. Yeah, that's the. I think that's the only answer, right? Hey, Hannah, good morning. 
Good morning, guys. So I actually, I'm a sufferer from OCD, and there is a spectrum of OCD called health anxiety, which is basically one of your obsessions is obsessing about your health. So anything kind of makes you freak out about, oh, is my heart beating too fast? Is that a heart attack? Or my vision is blurry. Am I going blind? Is it a stroke? Like, it's honestly a very, very, like, debilitating mental health disorder, not just a quirk. So I, I side with everyone who's like, you probably need to go talk to a psychiatrist or a therapist to kind of get to the root of why he's so worried about it. But isn't this a contradiction in itself? If this dude's not going to go to the hospital for a minor heart attack, you think you're going to be able to get him into a therapist's office? No, he's not the one that needs to go. The one that had the minor heart attack doesn't need to see a therapist. It's his husband who's a hypochondriac that's constantly going to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Um, Cassie, what's up? Yeah, this isn't something I've really shared often, but I do have OCD and I do have a lot of these health related anxiety things and it is awful. And a lot of it too stems from um, some insecurity about not feeling like you are deserving of the life you live. Really? So I'm always waiting for the other shoe to drop. If I have something oh. with my heart, I'm convinced it's heart disease. It's going to lead to a heart attack. If I, I mean, literally anything, like I will talk to my husband. Now, I don't go to the doctor and waste the money because I rationally talk myself down. But it's always like, mm-hmm. this is it. This is what I've been waiting. I knew this was going to happen. And here it is. And, you know, this is how <laughs> I have a headache. I know what it is. It's this. So uh, talking to a therapist is something that really, really helps. And it'll help give you the tools to figure out, is this an actual medical emergency? and Or is this maybe something that I'm just working up in my head and I should like check out the symptoms and see what it really is never neglect your health if you think something is wrong but you know the world's not out to get you the bird show hey do you like what you just watched because you can get more bird show for free we drop new podcasts every weekday and you can find us anywhere spotify apple any place you get podcasts